What's up guys, Beckham he is here, we got The Fosters, Season 1, Episode 7, The Fallout. Okay, so this episode starts off with, with Jesus yelling at my arm, saying he doesn't want to hear it, saying she, she's a telltale, and she's like a little, little hurt girl on the playground, saying that Maya, that she's like a little, little hurt girl on the playground, Ma, like seeing Jesus slept together. And I feel bad, so I'm telling him. And she's like, that's the same guy, that's the same thing guy did to me. And she's like, how is, how is that, how is that, how, what in the world is that the same? And she's like, you knew where Joy was messed up, you went behind, don't lie, Jesus. And Jesus is like, oh yeah, we should tell mom who you've been talking to. When they, they be interested in we get any money. And she's like, he's like, be quiet. He's like, he's like, he's like, what are they gonna do? Ground him? The only person he wants. And she, yeah, she, she's like, she's like, be quiet. The only, you know, it would get him in trouble too. And she's like, and he's like, what are they gonna do? Ground me? The only person he wants to see is Lexi. And his parents won't let her talk. And he's like, and she's, like, and she's like, stuff doesn't. She hasn't been talk to Lexi for weeks, which kind of raises my first plot point. That was Mariana's choice not to talk to Lexi. She could have done it, but she didn't. So for her to say she hasn't talked to Lexi in weeks, it's kind of her own fault here. And and yeah, and Steph just comes out of nowhere saying, saying, yeah, you two better get, get along. And he's just like, no one get along with her. No. Not even Dalai Lama, whatever that means. And Mar and and Steph's like, and Steph like, wow, Maya, you have brought this on yourself, adding to Lexi, Lexi's parents. And Maya's like, I can't believe you're taking their side. You may well adopt Lexi. You like her so, you like her so much better than her. And Maya, like, we love you, Maya, but but the person you're being isn't the right person. So. So yeah, so yeah. So Brandon, he's kind of going towards Cali because he got, because he's, because he's like, he, he took his sister Rachel and got her drunk, and she's like, she's like, Maya didn't take her anywhere. She took her. She didn't take Maya anywhere. Maya took her, and Brandon's like, Maya took you to White's party, and Maya, and then Cal. And Cal and, Cal and Callie's like, yeah, she was just whining about how she didn't want to be here. Lexi's and she's like, if you want to talk about it, talk it with her. And he's like, and he's like, oh, I just thought. And she's like, I knew what you thought. So, yeah. So, so yeah. So then, so then he goes to Lexi, and Lexi's like, her mom cries every time she looks at her, and and she said, and yeah. And she's going to send her to board. She's saying she's going to start. She's going to send her to a boarding school. So Jesus says, "Ghosts come from my mouth. He's like, "You have ruined her life." And she's like, "Wait." And she's like, "Why are you talking?" He's like, "Lexi, her parents are going to a boarding school in Texas." Wow. Yeah. Basically says, "Look at what people you love." Basically, yeah. And then, so yeah, so, so yeah, so then, so then he was like, hey Callie, you, you haven't been, you haven't been paying attention in, in group, and she's like, uh, she just doesn't want to go there, and she's like, uh, you might, until we find you another one, you'll have to keep going there, yeah, so after the whole Liam thing, and the whole, so yeah, so and then and then Callie goes to see Wyatt and Wyatt's like, um I saw that picture of the tree and he's like, Is this does that does do with that Liam guy, does it? And she's he's like, I saw that comment they made about the tree and, like, and Wyatt's like, Is he threatening her? And she's like and she's like, He's just a guy she used to know. And then when she's waiting for Wyatt, why Liam just shows up and he's like and he's like, what are you doing here? And he's like, and he's like, your boyfriend's sending a threat on And she's like, and she's like, I wonder where he got that idea. And she's like, what did you tell him? She has nothing. And he grabs her very hard. And she's like, 
and she's like, you tell him. Yeah, he starts yelling at her, saying, stay away from, stay away from him, stay away from Sarah, and tell your boyfriend to keep his mouth shut, or he's gonna get in. Then why just tackles him, and why starts beating him up, and Kylie's like, hey, why let him go, Liam? That's enough. And then Brandon just, and yeah, instead of thanking him for defending her, she yells at him, which is kind of like. And she's like, I told you to stay out of it, now you make things worse. And he's like, and, and he's like, and I was just trying to, and she's like, go home, Wyatt. And he's like, fine, I'll stay out of it for good. He was just trying to defend your cow. And this is how you treat him? That guy's evil. Like, like Liam is a butt. And you, de and you yell at Wyatt when he was trying to protect you? Wrong judgment, Miss Callie. And basically, Brandon, and basically, Callie, Tells Brandon about Liam and tells Callie about Lee. Callie tells Brandon about Liam and all that stuff, and he explains that that they that they use and yeah, and then and then he's and then he's uh, twenty one that he probably twenty one and and they were probably two years, I mean, she's probably 19 back then, and Brandon's like, he, he was 30, and I totally agree, Liam totally, Liam I'm dead, looks 30 years old, <laughs> and yeah, and he, and he says, he says, it's also worse, because Sarah's living with them, and, and, so, so, yeah, so then, we get to the Rivera's, and they're like, they're pulling Lexi out of school, and, and, they're, and they're like, they're, they're, like, under the, they're under some s assumption that Lena gave them, gave Lexi a pill under their, without their knowledge, and, and basically she can, and she's like, that can be the case, and if it, yeah, and she's like, are they going to the board, and she's like, so yeah, so staff, she talks to staff, so yeah, so with June Connor, June's finally back and stuff, so, and he talks to Connor, and, yeah, and he's like, and he's like, hey, do you want to partner up, and June's like, sure, so yeah, so then, 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 so and she's like, and she's like, Seth, this is my job. This is my career. And she's like, and she's like, what if we didn't do it? And basically, what well, if they didn't do it? Lexi, why are they in trouble? So, I don't know why the repairs are mad. But I get why. So anyway. So, anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. So, then we see Mario hanging out with Anna. And Anna singing his patrol French. I mean, some sort of Spanish song, and she's like, and she's, and she starts asking Mario for money, and she's, and she's like, I don't have any more, and she's like, and she's like, there's something that your mo mom's would, mo mom's would miss, and there's stuff that you wouldn't, that you don't use that your mom's would miss, and you should give, that you should give me to it, and I can sell it, and she's like, uh, and she's like, family. They're family, and family takes care of family, which is kind of messed up that she's saying this to Mariana when Mariana's adopted. Kind of messed up. Even Mar says it that it was messed up too later. So, anyway, yeah. So then. So, yeah. So then the Rivers knock on the, the, fo the foster's door, and they're like, Lexi ran away. So, yeah, because. So yeah, so 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 yeah. So Callie tries to tries to come for tries to go out tries to talk to Sarah, but says like leave me alone because she's still in the deluded mindset that Liam cares about her and it's deluded because she's crazy because his mayor thinks she's protecting his house, but he's really accusing her. Yeah. So yeah. So anyway, the, yeah. So then, anyway, Mariana goes to a house where we see Lexi, and 
and then yeah, so we see Jude and Connor and 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 and, Jude, and Jude's like, hey, as in and here's hey Seuss's and Connor's like, why didn't you bring out the stuff, bruh? And and Jude's basically like, hey, when he when when you move around a lot, uh, other things get lost, or stolen, and yeah. And he's like, um, where's your dad, bro? He's like, he's in jail, but he's out, and he's on a boat, and we're gonna go. And when he comes get us, he can come get us, and we can visit him. And Connor's like, um, bro, you're lying. You don't need to lie. And yeah, Connor, yeah, Connor, he's the best part of the show. So, yeah, and he's like, here's a game that he's been playing, and Drew starts playing it, so, yeah, so then, so then, Mar so, yeah, so then, and that's the Riera and Steph are in the car, and that's, Ernie Riviera, sorry, not Nesto, Ernie Riviera and Steph are in the car, and he says how his wife wants to, Lexi to live with her mom in Honduras, in Central America, she doesn't say Central America, but I looked up Honduras, and it's in Central America, so, yeah, so, and he starts saying about how boarding school would have been better for them, and, and so they start saying about how they can call the police, but that, but when they get home, they're like, hey, we can call the police, and they're like, um, we can't call the police, because they're, they're illegally from Honduras, they're, they're illegal immigrants. They're illegal immigrants. And he just finds this out with Mario Lyman saying about how she's still looking for Lexi. And then, then they go and she's like, oh, what are you doing here? And he's like, you need to come back with us. And she's like, I'm not, I'm not going back so you can, so her parents can send her some boarding school. And she's like, it's not that. Your parents are undocumented. And you are too, Lexi. So, then after we see Le we see Lexi, and she's and she's like and she's like I, I knew that you weren't illegal immigrants and she's like and then like, I don't know what Mario he just told me she's like I know you're undocumented and if you call if you send her anywhere she'll call immigration herself so yeah <laughs> Lexi so yeah so he's just Mario start talking about. How he how he just can't say about him how she's like yeah and she's like wow like she's a wild one and she's like yeah I'm dating her and she so like so yeah so she gets called text from Anna saying saying how she needs money for rehab but but Mariana she just ignores the text which is great for Mariana because I don't trust this and I don't I don't trust Mariana's birth mom so yeah so then we so then we get to see. Callie's group and, and she starts talking about how how William started putting stuff in her bag and and would, and would put candy bar in, in her bag and and she and she and how she was and, and and she would say how she met and how she meant more to him but not to him and she and he meant more to her but not to him and Serge walked out and Callie walks and she's like hey Sarah and, and Liam's like and she's like, Liam knew you did something, and he's, like, and he's like, Liam doesn't love you, Sarah, he's just using you, and she's like, you don't know that, and she's like, yeah, she used to be Sarah, because, because she, so yeah, and she's, and she's like, and she's like, come, me, and she's like, and she's like, where have you, if you tell me when I'm denying it, I'll just say, you're in love with him, or you're crazy, and I'll go into a record, and, and yeah. And she just walks away. So, so Brandon's like, it's her choice. And she's like, it's not her choice. It's not her, it's not her choice. It's not her fault. And Callie revealed something that, that one night, Liam came into her room and asked her to, you know, sleep with him. And she said she wasn't ready to. And he forcefully, he forcefully raped her, which is kind of sad. And she's like, it wasn't her choice, it wasn't her, Callie's choice, it wasn't Callie's fault, and it's so like, either, so, so yeah, so then, as, as Connor's leaving, he gives Jude his stuff, and Jude's like, I can't take it, he's like, here, I want you to have it, yes, 
so yeah, and then at the end of the episode, she starts, for some reason, Kelly kind of says, at the end of the, of, of the episode, she starts saying about how a while ago she was in another foster home, but didn't she say two years ago she had this relationship with Liam? Why is she changing the story? Like, okay, and basically that wraps up this episode. She, we didn't get to hear the full story for Tom and Stephanie now. We know the story, but that we now know. So I hope, fully they take Sarah out, out of the homestead house. Because if they don't, Sarah's just going to be forced to be in a relationship with Callie. With smart enough gal of when she has a chance. But Callie tried to explain to Sarah that she was, that Callie, Sarah's in the same situation Callie was. But of course, Sarah didn't believe her, which is kind of sad that Sarah's just gonna, you know, like, be in this relationship with Liam unknowingly, knowing that he's just using her. And Callie tried to tell her, but she didn't listen. And it's sad. So, I really enjoyed this episode. I really enjoyed how it, how it expanded on, like, Lexi and Martin and I regaining their friendship, which I didn't mention, but... They got their friendship back, which I like. I'm glad they were able to pa push forward the, the whole Hayden thing and regain their friends. And she is not that nice of a lady. She's using her own daughter to get money from her. Because now she wants rehab. She's using her... Yeah. I, I don't buy it. Why would... Why can't... Marna gave her. Did Marna give her money in the first episode? Why is she asking for more? Maybe she spent the money on whatever. Yeah, I just don't trust my other mom. And Kelly and White, they're okay, but I kind of feel like White didn't deserve to be yelled at by Kelly for attacking Liam. Liam's an awful dude, and White, he was threatening. He was threatening her to stay away from Sarah. He was also threatening Liam, threatening Wyatt, sorry. So, doesn't, isn't Wyatt the hero in this situation? I don't know. But I'm just saying, Callie had no right to yell at him. And now he's like, I'm just going to stay out of this because you told me to. But Wyatt, you were the hero here, bro. You saved her from, be, from yeah, <laughs> in Liam's grip. Like, he can hurt Callie, like, like, he can, like, grab her arm and hurt her very much, like, that is a hard grip, but, yeah, I really enjoyed this episode, it was really good, and, yeah, uh, I hope I see you guys on the next Fosters, see you guys.